just a good old boy who loves burning rubber and driving fast. Sun's not even all the way up and we're up. It is race day, Maple Grove. The countdown to the championship has begun. First round, Josh Hart. We are ready. Got to keep this momentum going from the U.S. Nationals. Go out here and do our job. Turn some wind lights on. Going to be a different day because first round is at 1030. That means swing for it. Get after it. Quick fast that's what it's going to take round one who knows what we'll get into for the rest of the day when we get by first round but i know this i'm glad you guys are here let's go have some fun today race day rolling up driver intro it is Pretty dang nice out, but probably not as cool as I thought it was going to be. But it's going to be good. It's going to be good. We just got to make sure we figure out this racetrack, make sure we hit the gas on time. And if we do all of those things, the wind lights are going to come on. It is countdown time starts right now. Now one, Josh Hart, y'all, let's do this. He proved through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say dust that star-spangled banner yet Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave. Race fans, it's time to burn some nitro! Championship with top fuel. And we're firing things off with Josh Hart and Clay Milliken, a pair of drivers who are countdown eligible here coming into this event at Maple Grove. season that team has won folks at RNL carriers Bernie's and TechNet. they are the number nine qualifier here this weekend but in qualifying that car only made it down the track on Friday night now Friday night was the best conditions we had seen all weekend until today Clay Milliken for the folks at parts plus the mighty firebreaker machine down there summit racing equipment the Rick Ware racing Ford, Jim Oberhofer Nikki Bonifant the US Nationals champions for the first times in their career two weeks ago in Indianapolis. The track temperature is 96 degrees. It's as good of a racetrack as we've had all weekend. It is 72 outside. The density altitude, 1,580 feet. It is fast. It is beautiful. It is Maple Grove, and it is the countdown to the championship. Top Fuel, round one, Pet Boys Nationals. Josh Hart, Clay Milliken goes to round number two, 382, 281 miles per hour. Yeah, it was
I'm happy and I cut it off early. No, it wasn't either. I heard him hit the throttle. Holy moly. I guess it don't matter as long as the wind light come on, right? Woo! Love you guys. <laughs> boop, boop. You'll take that one, right? I'll take it. It was a freebie. I'll take it. Back, but Clay Milliken picks up the win. 382, 281. Josh Hart left too soon. One tenth of a second before the tree had fired. Josh Hart with a red light and Clay Milliken into round number two. Move his race round winning streak to five coming off that big U.S. Nationals win. What, what, what just happened? What just happened? You just won the first round of the countdown. You just won the first round. You just ran your winning streak to five consecutive rounds. You just had the snot scared out of you when he stepped on the gas too early. Did you see that? I heard it. I was riding a bicycle. <laughs> hey, that's YouTube gold right there, brother. <laughs> Man, I didn't we know what you was doing. Was, uh, Neither did I. Well. Just came around the corner. <laughs> Forget today. Let's go down to the top end of the racetrack. Alan Reinhardt. With Clay Milliken, who's uh, discussing the run with Steve Torrance, who just came around the corner. Forget today. Tell me in the last two weeks, after winning Indy, what's the biggest thing that happened that surprised you? How many phone calls, texts, interviews that continue to happen? Even up until, like, yesterday, I'm still doing it, and it's amazing. We all know that race is big, but I think it's starting to really hit me just how big it really is because people still want to talk to me. And most time they don't because I never stop talking, but it's been amazing just how big and how meaningful it really is. And it is sinking in, and I know it's game time and all that, but I'm still on top of that wing as far as I'm concerned. It's awesome. Steve's not going to let him out of the port of john next time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, here's the truth, y'all. I was more than confident I was late as a dog. As it turns out, Josh went red. We got the win. That's what we were looking for. Let's go! Come on! I thought I was late, dude. second round so's the race car we're going up here against Justin Ashley and if y'all know anything about keeping up with it he's a killer but we're ready we have a great team and a great race car all we got to do is go out here and do our job and if it's meant to be that wind light will come on and that's our plan that's our plan right <laughs> you guys are awesome you're awesome all right here we go round two Justin Ashley Hot out. Hot and hurt, I should say.
He sure is. Here's Clay Milliken and Justin Ashley, the new points leader. And Clay Milliken for Parts Plus. Mighty Firebreaker, the team that won the U.S. Nationals. Jim Oberhofer, Nikki Bonifant, Tune Machine, Mike Green, Tommy DeLago. Tommy DeLago and Nikki Bonifant were co crew chiefs for a long, long time over at Coletta Motorsports. These are two crews that are very familiar with each other. Drivers of the sport for Justin Ashley. He has been a machine this weekend as Clay Milliken takes a final deep breath and bumps his car in for round two. This looks better, especially. Dang it. My bad, y'all. Hey. I love you. All right, y'all. Justin Ashley does what Justin Ashley does. He beat me on the whole shot. Hey, it's drag racing, that gummit. He is a uh, a killer that's becoming more and more of a killer with every single passing run because every time he makes another lap, that makes him a better driver. He has that uh, crush that tree ability on the starting line. I'll give that to him. <laughs> you do, hey, you do what you always do. <laughs> Good race. Good race. Good race. Good race. Thank you. You bet, brother. For Justin Ashley, 377 beats a 377. 377 won for Justin Ashley to get there first with an 030 reaction time. Justin Ashley has come into this weekend at Maple Grove at the Pep Boys Nationals as locked in and focused as I remember seeing the top fuel driver. So kind. I'm down here with Justin Ashley. I know you say you're not paying attention to it, but you just beat the U.S. Nationals champ, and you are the point leader. And if you tell me you didn't know that, your pants are going to burst into flames. <laughs> no, we, uh, look, we try not to pay attention to the points, Alan. It's true. But it's a very difficult thing to do, you know, especially at this point in the year. We did a lot of work during the regular season to put ourselves in this position right now and we're only two rounds into the official countdown but you like where we're at i can't say enough good things about mike tommy and this entire team and i absolutely love clay milliken last week's winner the win in indy was like the win heard around the world so that's a great team over there but for everybody at skag power equipment metalcraft of mayville toyota we're going to try and keep this thing rolling thank you guys for everything you do folks y'all see that 030 right there that's what Justin Ashley does. 3771 beats R3779. Uh, I actually told y'all I lost on a whole shot, but technically I did not. But here's the truth. I'm not going to be 30 on the tree. Uh, y'all can comment all you want about that. That kid is special. And like I said, he's getting more and more dangerous all the time because the more laps he gets, the better driver he becomes. When he first started, he could crush that tree like that, and he didn't have as many laps under him as uh, guys like me, and we had some advantage with that. But the more laps he makes, the better he gets, and uh, whoo! Hey, we went one round. We just went down a racetrack that nobody else could get down, or the pair in front of a smoke tire immediately. Oh, it's drag racing. All right, so 
Here's a different look for y'all. I don't know what they're doing here. Jesse, she's carbon fiber, brother. I get that question every now and then. Is it a carbon fiber body? Yep, it is. Got a different sponsor. Got a surprise coming a for surprise. everybody. So we're going to surprise them in Charlotte, right? Yep, surprise them in Charlotte. We're coming to wrap the car Tuesday. Huh? I don't know what it is. And it really doesn't matter. But I, I do want to take just a second here because we got a couple people here that every person. person watching this video should thank you. these guys we appreciate you guys tell everybody your name thank you guys for your support staff sergeant jordan williams out of harrisburg pennsylvania heck yeah staff sergeant el satina out of horseman pennsylvania thank all you right for your support thank you guys we support drag racing we love it keep <laughs> up the good work and we love you guys y'all are freaking awesome we appreciate, it. we appreciate you guys thank you guys oh i love when we have these guys hanging out it's awesome all right, I want y'all to meet my buddy Blake here. This is Nikki's son, and he is always watching the YouTube channel, and I knew he might want to be on here, so this is my buddy Blake. Oh. <laughs> He's been out cruising on the golf cart. I think he is about ready to hop in the seat and take over for me. <laughs> yes, exactly. Stop on that loud pedal. Well, I'm back to the hotel. I want to walk about up on top of the garage here. It's beautiful out here in Reading. Anyway, dang it. Freaking. Ah, it wasn't Indy. That's all we can say. But we went down the racetrack when a lot of people were having an amazing amount of problems. Timo, Nikki, everybody on this entire team kicked butt and did a great job. While initially I thought I lost on a whole shot, it doesn't matter, to be honest with you. Win together, lose together, that's all there is to it. We were the second quickest car of the session. We lost to the first quickest car. It is what it is, but uh, didn't help us none chasing that championship. Did better than some, because we won first round, but we have got to go rounds at Charlotte, that's all there is to it, and dig our way towards the front of this pack. This countdown makes things really interesting just because of the points reset, and it gives everybody an opportunity to chase that championship. As it is, I do believe Antron moved himself to the front. Good on Antron. He's a good dude, I like Antron, but we're gonna to try to take them all out, come Charlotte, gather up some of them points, and move ahead. All I know is it's been a crazy, I guess, eight weeks in a row now, and we're not done. Charlotte, the moment I get home from here tomorrow, I'm grabbing Iggy and Millie and hooking up to the trailer. Motorhome, on the road to Charlotte. We'll follow that right up with St. Louis, and I can't remember what's after that, but I am definitely going to take you guys along because I love you guys watching liking subscribing sharing commenting i do read them been so crazy busy i hadn't been able to respond to many of them i'll be honest but i promise i do read them and i enjoy them most of them i enjoy them even the ones that are bad they uh, they make me smile because sometimes they just do you guys are the best appreciate you watching and i will see you in the next one i don't know when that'll be i'm assuming Charlotte. Uh, if we run on Friday, that would make it on Saturday if I could get it done in time. Anyway, you're the best. I'm jabbering, rambling. You know the deal. See ya.